topic, but I wanted happy to wish birthday. our colleague a uh, <laughs> happy birthday. That's it for me, Mayor. Happy birthday, Council Member Cisneros. Friday. It's just coming Friday. First Celebrate the whole, well, the first of September. Yeah. Oh, that's Nine Virgo. Months. Is that Virgo? <laughs> Virgo. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go home early today and I'm going to make you a cake. I'm going to make you a cake. <laughs> <laughs> Councilmember Thomas. Uh, thank you much. Uh, I want to echo the efforts on Bissonnette. Uh, I exit 59 in the Beltway and I exit Bissonnette every night on my way home. And so um, I have seen some things over the years. Uh, and uh, there has never been this type of um, investment and support in that area where business owners, residents, and the greater community is taking notice. So as someone that lives in A-Leaf, it's, it's always been known as the track. And so I appreciate your intention around that area. And um, I'm sure in the next five years, it'll, it'll be transformed. So thank you for that. Uh, Mayor, I have two issues I need your assistance with. So in District F, we have 14 homes that are in the abatement process. And, you know, um, we, we know private property is king and queen in the state, and that's a, that's a long process. However, I'm having, in order to communicate to residents to level set expectations, because sometimes it's a citation, then we have to, the clock starts, then there may be a court date. What's the baseline for that process to start? It's difficult to get our hands around that type of information. I want to be able to communicate routinely to residents because they consistently ask, what's going on with this home? Or what's going on with this case? Because it's blight, right? It's, it's uh, neighborhood protection quality of life again. And I really would like to, I found a, a very old committee presentation a long time ago, but if there's some, a public facing document that we can communicate with residents what to expect when the city is moving in that process, I think it would probably alleviate a lot of uh, frustration. Why don't you send me those five addresses? Absolutely. We have 14. And, um, 14 we same? have 14, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, you want five, I need five, <laughs> we got 14. But just, and, and they're all in various stages, right? And, some, and, and I realize we're not the FBI, we're, we can't track down private owners, and that's not No, but send me, send me the 14. Yeah, and, and just so we can just communicate publicly because HOAs are and individuals, they're trying to figure out what they can okay. do. So that's the, that's the first thing. And then secondly, for probably the last 11 months, and maybe Councilmember Pollard can attest to this, on Town Park, uh, we have street vendors. And people have taken over Town Park and Gessner and Harwin. And we have put so much effort with the Apartment Association, Westside, and Midwest PD, um, to cite these individuals. They're not permitted. They're selling food. What do you mean? They, I don't understand. They're on the street on the sidewalk. They are literally, like, they are literally taking over the block. And um, table stands, they, anything, everything. It's a flea market on the street. And so, you know, here's my deal. You know, you make an extra money, I get it. However, what's happening is uh, litter, equipment in the bayou, the drains, it's all of that's happening. We have um, the apartment complex that abuts the street, the sidewalk, they have private security. The security guards are afraid. Uh, HPD has done an extensive amount of education. They've uh, um, offered at least between 35 and 50 citations between Midwest and West Side. I have designated overtime particularly to that. Uh, we have brought in the Apartment Association, and uh, those people do not care. Um, and so it's a quality of life issue. We have residents that call and complain. Um, and so we have done everything at my disposal to do. And so we need some assistance. And I know Councilmember Pollard and I have talked about this. Like, you know, we, they don't care. Okay, send me, send me the, send me I, the photos address. and all. We can, all of it. Because there's, we have escalated this. We have, we have done everything that we can do. And you've, it is tough out there. You've um, never seen anything like this. Nothing those. like it. If we don't get on top of it, it will grow. Yeah, send it, send me, I will, send I will. Um, and really, that's it. Um, last week, I was able to uh, present Juvenile with a proclamation to the city, so for the 9-9 in the 2000s. Uh, and, and really, you know, as we celebrate Harvey, Hurricane Katrina also, um, and the city of Houston and New Orleans has a, a, a strong brother-sister relationship, right. um, and we continue to demonstrate that. So it, it was a great time, and I appreciate everyone um, for, uh, for uh, showing up and, and, and supporting, so we appreciate that. 
That's Thank it. You. Thank you. And happy Thank birthday, Houston. Thank you. Councilman Mayor Cohen. Thank you, Mayor. And yeah, 